Welcome to Hitman Boxing. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. So today, Eddie Hearn said that Errol Spence has signed up for VADA testing. So both Kell Brook and Errol Spence are now on the same page when it comes down to drug testing for their fight. That's going to take place in either May or June. You know, Kell Brook did release that tweet a few days ago trying to insinuate that Errol Spence was on that juice. And of course, Errol Spence, you know, tweeted him back. He said, you just make sure that you make weight. Because that's been a big, a common thing amongst both of these guys. You know, a lot of people on the internet have been saying that Errol Spence is taking some shit. You know, but there's really no basis for that shit. You know what I'm saying? Or, now what they're going to say is, since there's VADA testing now, he's probably going to be off the juice, and it's going to be a much easier fight for Kell Brook. Okay, keep thinking that shit. Keep thinking that shit. So... I'm not sure why so many of Kell Brook's fans feel like he is, I don't know, the greatest fucking boxer of all time, but clearly he showed, you know, with regard to the build-up to this fight, that he's afraid. He showed on multiple occasions that he's afraid. The whole, you know, Vada testing shit, and you know, I, I, I'm a proponent of Vada testing in fights. I think it's a good idea to do Vada testing at, at all fights, you know? Whether it's for a title or not, I think there should be VADA testing. So, but what I don't agree with is, and I'm not sure how straightforward these organizations are, but I believe that they're protecting some of these fighters, to be honest with you. You know, at the end of the day, money rules everything. So, is it really far fetched to believe that these organizations aren't taking money from fighters? You know what I mean? Like, I don't believe that these organizations are, are straightforward, but I mean, we've got to deal with what we've got and, you know, you got to play by the rules, I guess. So, and it's really cool that the WBA finally instituted their own clean boxer type program. I haven't heard anybody talk about it on video, but you know, it looks like all these sanctioning bodies are moving toward some sort of year round drug testing program, which I'm completely fine with, man. If it stops cheating motherfuckers, from getting into the ring, you know, so, but anyway, back to Errol Spence and Kell Brook, you know, Kell Brook is scared, he's been terrified since Spence has been making his way up in the rankings, um, you know, he, he fought Sean Porter, that was a close fight, you know, he hugged the motherfucker to death, like he was a fucking teddy bear or some shit, and, you know, he fought Triple G and got his ass beat, a lot of people say that he exposed Triple G, when more so... Not nah, because I mean, Kell Brook lost the fight. I mean, how do you look good in losing? You know, his corner threw in the towel. Personally, I don't think they should have threw the towel in. I should have. I thought they should let him get his ass fucking pummeled. You know, for fucking wasting everybody's time going up two weight classes to fight the fucking killer at fucking one sixty. Why would you do that? He okay, so clearly he did it for the money. You know, it wasn't because he was it wasn't because he's got a lot of heart. It wasn't because he wanted to challenge himself. It's because he was essentially selling his O to the highest bidder, which was Triple G and company, right? So he gets into that fight, he gets his ass beat, gets his face broken up, orbital bone shattered. So he's gotta go through all this this rehab and shit. You know, he's talking about he can't make weight for the for for the fight. Talking about he's had trouble, you know, making 147. All throughout this time where he's training for Triple G, he's talking about how he feels so comfortable at 160, how he feels great. You know, Kelber probably walks around at like 170 something. And if I'm not mistaken, so does Errol Spence, you know. So they're they're both about the same size. Um I can't wait to see the the face offs. You know, the press conferences between both of these parties. It's going to be interesting. You know, Kell Brook, you know, when he talks, he sounds like a bitch with that fucking lisp. Talking all fucking soft and shit with that dumbass fucking smile on his face. Motherfucker look like Gonzo and shit. You know, Mr. Ezekiel. Ezekiel Brook. Kelly, you know, you know, let me stop. Let me stop. Back to the fucking, back to the fight, okay? So, 
Where were we? Um, yeah, Kell Brook and Errol Spence are about the same size. They probably walk around at the same weight when they're not, you know, actively training for a fight, right? 170. Uh, according to Spence, I mean, he makes the weight easy. And we know Kell Brook can make that fucking weight too. But he just wants to use that shit as an excuse after he gets his ass beat, okay? There's going to be some excuses after he gets his ass whooped. And you won't see none of the... The motherfuckers that thumb this video down and the motherfuckers that come to the video talking shit, they're not going to be anywhere to be found when Kell Brook gets his ass whooped. Another scenario, I mean, if, if Kell Brook wins this fight um, against Errol Spence, I mean, I'll still be making videos. Why not? Why would I, why would I not make a video if Kell Brook beats Errol Spence? It's going to be a hot video, right? Why would I not cap? Y'all motherfuckers don't, y'all don't get this shit. I know a lot of you motherfuckers don't get it. So, but we're not going to talk about that shit because that's neither here nor there. And the main topic at hand is Errol Spence has signed up for VADA testing. So, I mean, what's going to be the next, what's going to be the next thing that Kell Brook says to try to make us, you know, try to make us believe more so in Kell Brook's ability to beat Errol Spence? You know, you know, and and I give Kell Brook credit, man. He's he's a good boxer. Like he's a good fighter. He's a A level fighter for sure. My whole issue with Kell Brook is that he's been fighting bums his entire fucking career. You know, I understand you have mandatories for the IBF. I understand that, man. I know they want you to fight your mandatory. They always on that shit, that mandatory shit. But like you've had opportunities. To fight various fighters. Like I said before. And, and I mentioned this shit because. Y'all motherfuckers don't get it. It makes sense. Like he was negotiating with Jesse Vargas. Someone that he could have beat. And I think he would have beat Jesse Vargas. Rather easily right. Now he would have fought Jesse Vargas. He would have beat Jesse Vargas. For the WBO title okay. The WBO belt. So he would have had the WBO and the IBF title, right? The big theme amongst the welterweight division is they all want to unify the division, right? So if you've got two belts, it may, and, and if motherfuckers don't want to fight you when you've got two belts, it makes it seem like they're fucking ducking you, okay? But no, he backed out of the fight with Jesse Vargas, signed up to fight Triple G, someone that no one believed that he could beat. And he didn't beat Triple G. He got beat the fuck up his corner threw in the towel you know a lot of people have made videos about this shit and they feel like this this whole shit between fucking him and triple g was fixed you know the moment he got into trouble they threw the fucking towel in man he was about to get killed in that fucking ring to be honest with you triple g was going for the fucking kill man he smelled blood man you touching your fucking eye and shit the entire fight you just asking for your fucking corner to throw the towel in man so he can give all the excuses that he wants to, man. Talking about he can't make weight. Not sure if he can do it. You know, he'd probably be more comfortable at 154. All this bullshit, man. Talking about Amir Khan's ducking him. And about the whole Amir Khan thing, man. Like, first of all, you've been calling out Amir Khan damn near your whole fucking career, right? And historically, Amir Khan has been a weight class or two below you. Like, why are you calling out smaller fighters? You know what I'm saying? Why are you calling out Amir Khan when he's a weight class behind you? You know? Why Why is that? Why are you, follow, why are you calling on a smaller fighter? That fucking interview where they, I don't know what fucking, some UK show, everybody's seen it by now, man. They weren't in the same weight class when that interview took place. So why are you picking on Amir Khan? You think you could beat Amir Khan. That's, that's why he wants to fight him. You think that's an easy fight. See, it's an easy, he thinks it's an easy fight for him. And he could get paid handsomely for the fight. That's the only reason why he wanted that fight. You know, he wanted he wanted to fight Pacquiao because Pacquiao's older and Pacquiao's a lot fucking smaller than him. And he knows he could beat Pacquiao, right? But no, all of a sudden your mandatory becomes Errol Spence. And then we got all this fucking backpedaling. You talking about you want to move up and wait. Like, that's not a coincidence, man. Like you wasn't planning on moving up to, to 154, 160. And so Errol Spence came into the fucking picture. I've been making videos for like a year right now. And I've been talking about this shit since I made my fucking channel. Like, y'all criticize the opponents that Errol Spence is fighting. But he's only fighting these fighters and eliminated. These, are, these have all been eliminator fights, man, for the IBF. He's had like four or five of them, man. 
So, I mean, every it's clear as fucking day motherfuckers are running from him, man. Motherfuckers do not want to fight him. A lot of people will be looking back, watching this fight. And if Errol Spence beats Kell Brook, they are definitely not going to want to fight him because motherfuckers are already leery about fighting Kell Brook anyway. You know what I mean? I mean, it's not like Kell Brook's like a low-tier fighter in the welterweight division. He's he's a top fighter in the, in the, at 147, man. So y'all got to give him at least those props. You know, for somebody who's, who fights all bums, so he, he's for all bums and Sean Porter and got his ass beat by Triple G. That's his record. That's it. You know, but, you know, for for all these people to feel like Kell Brook is the fucking greatest welterweight damn near of all time. I, I think some of you motherfuckers think that he's the best welterweight or best boxer in the fucking world ever. That's how some of you motherfuckers be talking in that comment section. I don't get it. He ain't proved shit. Oh, but Earl Spence hasn't proved nothing either, mate. He hasn't proved nothing. He's just another, he's just another bullock. And we're like, come on, man. He's just another yank cowboy that's going to get beat. No, man. Y'all dead wrong, man. <laughs> Yo, Errol Spence about to beat the fuck out this dude, man. Y'all, y'all crazy, man. Um, but you know what? To be honest, though, if I'm being real right now, I hope it's a good fight. Like, if I'm just being 100% honest, I hope it's a good fight. You know, I want to see some back and forth between both of these guys. And I hope they both get their all, man. Because, you know, we need these types of fights in boxing right now, man. I feel like boxing is... You know, we've had a really good year for boxing in 2017. I can't lie. We've had a really good year for boxing. And, you know, as far as the welterweight division is concerned, it all started off with Danny Garcia and um, Keith Thurman this year. So, I'm just looking forward to good fights. Looking forward to Errol Spence versus Kell Brook. Hopefully, Kell Brook don't drop out the fight. But he could, though, man. He could, you know, he could get injured, quote-unquote, in sparring again. Like... He did when he was supposed to fight Diego Chavez. Because that's another motherfucker he ducked. Look that shit up. He was supposed to fight Diego Chavez, man. That would have been a good that would have been a good step up fight for him. You know what I mean? Like, I would have had no problems with him fighting Diego Chavez. That's a good measuring stick pause. But, you know, he got injured, injured in sparring and had to stop. So had to stop training. So, you know, Kell Brook's full of shit, man. He's always been full of shit. He's got a lisp, man. He's fucking broke, you know. Motherfucker can't match his fucking jewels, man. Got on fucking platinum and gold and shit. Get the fuck out of here with that bullshit. <laughs> Yo, Kell Brook, man. Yo, Kell Brook, shout out to shout out to you, Kell Brook. Shout out to you for taking this fight. Shout out to you for being scared to death right now. You probably in the kitchen right now baking some brownies like a bitch at this very moment. You you got your wife. Y'all probably sleep in separate beds or some shit, I bet. Ho ass motherfucker. This motherfucker. Motherfucker got they, they got two twin beds in their motherfucking room, man. They got two twin mattresses. And they both the motherfuckers not even together, man. He sleep on one side of the room. She sleep on one side of the room. This this motherfucker wife, she get out of bed, man. She take a shower in the morning. You know, she in the shower. This motherfucker Kel Brook come in, brushing his teeth and shit. Trying to brush the motherfucking brownies off his fucking teeth. You know, she like, hey. Kel, pass me the pass me the towel. Kel be like, no, I don't want to look. He just he grabbed a motherfucking towel. He turned his head to the side. He passed her the towel. She get out the shower. You know, she like Kel. Why don't you ever look at me? No more? Why don't you ever touch me no more? Kel be like, no, no, I, I'm not, I don't like I don't like that. You know, I don't like that, man. I don't like women, man. I don't like females, man. That's what the fuck Kel broke bitch ass probably do. He ain't hitting that bitch right. You know he not hitting that bitch right. Shit. I don't fuck with this dude, man. Fighting all these fucking bums, man. Ho ass motherfucker, man. We going we all gonna see, like at the end of the day, we all gonna see what's gonna happen when these two motherfuckers fight. We're gonna see what it is. And hey, whoever wins the fight, I'm gonna get props. I'm gonna get props to him. If it's a robbery though, it's gonna if it's a motherfucking robbery for Spence, it's, it's over. It's a wrap. But if Kell Brook won the fight, well, I'm gonna get him off against his props. Thing is, if if Kell Brook won this fight, you know he should he should probably get a lot of props for it. You know what I'm saying? Like if he beats Errol Spence, I mean we can't say Errol Spence wasn't ready or he was he was just a prospect coming up because I mean he shows skills too. You know. So, 
both of these motherfuckers deserve props no matter who wins, man. So, you know, I still think Kell Brooks a hodo, man. You know what I'm saying? He came over to the U.S. looking bummy as fuck, man. Motherfucker looking bummy as hell. He couldn't. E this motherfucker couldn't even afford airfare back to the U.K., man. This motherfucker got on a fucking ferry or some shit. I don't even know if they got that shit from, from fucking New York to the U.K., man. I don't know how the fuck you got back home, man. Motherfucker using teleporters and shit, man. We ain't got that type of technology out here yet, man. But you found it, though. Pussy. Anyway. Errol Spence signed up for Vita testing. So let's let's chill with the rumors, all right? Let's chill with that shit. You know, until we got proof. Don't say that shit. It's all good, though, man. We good. We good. That Yankee finna go over to the UK and bust this motherfucker's eye socket. Kel Brook gonna wake up in the motherfucking emergency room on some, I'm done with boxing. I'm done. I'm finna, I'm finna open up this bakery and wear these pink aprons. Fuck it. That's what the fuck I'm gonna do. Done with boxing. I just got my ass beat twice. If you lose twice in a row, dog, you fucking done, man. Eddie Hearn gonna disown your bitch ass. Have your ass turning tricks for him and shit. You know, this shit going too long, man. Let me know what y'all think about um, Errol Spence signing up for Vita Testament. Hitman Boxing, I'm out.